Good evening and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church for the service of Compline. We are thrilled that you're with us. I'm so happy to have Jane Tocek with us to help lead. Good evening, Jane. We are in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127, and we are using Psalm 31 from the service. Let's take a moment to take a posture that enables us to, to breathe easily and push away the stress. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 31. <laughs> in you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, the castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep 
and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In this moment of prayer and thanksgiving, we invite yours, either out loud where you are in the comments section or um, just held silently in your heart. And if you're unsure of the jumble of thoughts in your heart and mind, just offer them up to God who will make sense of them all. We begin by praying for those on our parish prayer list, for Debbie, Annie, Cannon, Larry, Amaya, Mike, Bill, for Linda, Judy, Charlotte, Bill, Donald, for Karen, Helen, Golzart, Nargis, Anselm, Brishna, Bob, June, Ben, Phyllis, Bob, Robin, William, Alexandra, Frank, Mackenzie, John, Ann, Sean and Ann, Patricia, Donna, for Tom and family, Bob and family, and the Greenberg, Gelrod, and Nolan families. <clears throat> We pray for all those who are in any kind of trouble, or sorrow, need, or sickness. We pray for the hungry and the unhoused and those who are living in precarious positions and circumstances. We pray for those who are unemployed or underemployed. We pray for those who are continually battling addiction, those who struggle with their mental health, for caregivers of all kinds. We pray for those who are angry or anxious. For those who are lonely and isolated and those who are living in crowded situations. We pray for our world, for an ending of violence everywhere, especially for an end of war in Ukraine, Middle East, and all the places in this world. We pray for all those who are vulnerable, for the elderly, the disabled, the children, for refugees. We pray for an easing of tensions between governments and nations and leaders, that God's peace will be found. We pray for an end of gun violence in our streets, an end of the opioid epidemic, an end of racism and discrimination. We pray for the church, for the church around the world, for the church here at home and for all hallows, that our mission might be tied directly to Jesus Christ and that we bring that light and love into the world. We pray for our Diocese of Pennsylvania and for our bishop as, and for all those bishops in the presiding bishop process. And we pray for the Holy Spirit to move hearts during the election in June. We remember all who have died, that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for John and for all the saints of all hallows. And we do give thanks 
We give thanks for the taste of summer that we had today, for the sunshine, for the beauty of God's creation. We give thanks for laughter, for the tasks that we completed. We give thanks for the ability to reach out a helping hand to others. We give thanks for birthdays and anniversaries, and we give thanks for the people of All Hallows and how they work so hard, and there are many, many ministries, and I give particular thanks for Jane and her ministries. We give thanks for the blessings that we see and the blessings that go by unnoticed. We also pray for a restful night ahead that we awake tomorrow renewed and energized to face the day. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Amen. We continue with the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for Compline. It is nice to spend the end of the day with you, preparing for a night of slumber. And thank you to Jane for helping lead. We My will pleasure. be back. We will be back again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for Compline. Um, and Wednesday, we have our Bible study at 11 o'clock and followed immediately by Eucharist. And you are welcome to all of that. Sunday, our service begins at 10 o'clock. And afterward, we are having a forum on the polity of the Episcopal Church, getting ready for our general convention um, this June and the election of a new presiding bishop. That's after the church, after church during fellowship. Put on your calendar may 9th it's a thursday night it's ascension day <clears throat> but we have scheduled um the last of our curtis concerts for this year and it is the curtis winds that are coming and they are coming um, with many faculty members who are members of the imani winds who just won a grammy um, so please come out and support these wonderfully talented students um, that's at 7 o'clock on Thursday, May 9th, um, at All Hallows, and all are welcome to that. It is free. We hope that you have a wonderful night. Be at peace and pray for peace.